Good. Okay, so we're hearing that some of our technicians are having issues when filling out the dish service agreement using the tablet for ETA. Apparently, they're being logged out as they try to fill out the outside work performed, inside work performed, things like that. So let's take a look at what we need to do. Essentially, when you have the service agreement pulled up, you'll see the boxes where you can select and fill in information. When you select a box, it'll bring up the keyboard for you, and you can, of course, type in whatever you need to type, installed, dish kit, installed cable, installed ground block, whatever you need for it to go there. However, when you go to select another box, it can be deceptive. As you see, the keyboard came up, but if I were to type right now, it would actually take me to another window, and I would think, what's going on? I'm logged out. What's happening is, I'm not paying attention and looking for the cursor to be flashing in that box. And all I need to do is select the box again, and sometimes even a third time, and now you'll see that a cursor is actually flashing and it's ready for me to type. So I could go ahead and tell it whatever I needed to, installed receiver, installed whatever, for the inside work performed. Let me show you what happens if I don't look for that cursor. So let's say I want to put the TV channel in. Okay, The keyboard's come up, but there's no cursor. If I'm rushing and I'm not paying attention and I just start to type HDMI, it pops up a search window. And what's happening is the Android system is just thinking that you're wanting to do a typical search for either a website or whatever. And it's not actually logging you out so much as just pulling up this search window. You simply need to hit the back button twice, back at the service agreement, this time when you select the box, ensure to hit it repeatedly until you see the cursor. This time I can type HDMI and I'm good to go.